But if you have an options position, there's three different things that you can do with that options position. Let's say you're long 10 of the $15 of the 15 strike calls in XYZ. So you're long 10 of the 15 strike calls in XYZ. Okay. Let's say you got in, you entered for 50 cents. XYZ is trading at 20. The 15 calls are now worth, what are the 15 calls worth? Okay, there's 10 days until expiration. Until expiry. What are those 15 calls worth? 10 days left. Say volatility is like 50. It's not crazy. XYZ is trading. XYZ is trading at 20. Didn't I say 20? Why did I write 12? That's a cool little trick I didn't know I could do. XYZ is trading at 20. 10 days until expiration. There's nothing weird. There's no earnings. There's no like nuclear explosion set to happen in the next 10 days. For so long 10 of the 15 calls in XYZ, we entered for 50 cents, right? $500. The 15 calls are now worth what? What are the 15 calls worth? No dumb answers. I'm not going to repeat your answer. Give it a best shot. Come on. XYZ is trading at 20. The 15 calls are now worth what? There's 10 days until expiration. Come on. No dumb answers. Come on. Don't make me do all the heavy lifting here. 15 calls are worth, there are at least five, right? There are absolutely at least five because, right, 20 minus five minus 15 equals five. So this is gonna be our intrinsic and anything left is our premium, it's our fluff. So let's say there's still 15 cents of premium. So the 15 calls are now worth 550. What can we do? What can we do? We can do a few different things. The first thing we can do is sell those calls. Profit, 5K. Add a boy or girl. Good job. Great trade. Okay, perfect, right? What else can we do? Well, two, we could sell some higher up calls. If we could sell the higher up calls, I mean, I guess we could sell those 20 strike calls. Eh, I don't really like doing that. Kind of bad in this example. So we could roll that into a spread, roll into spread. The third thing that we can do, and many don't realize this, and I'm gonna write this in red. I wanna to explain to you why. And this is so unbelievably important. And before you say, I traded an IRA, I can't do that. What margin do you need? Okay. The point is that you can do it, and you have to understand that you can do this. What you also can do is you could sell XYZ stock, okay? You can sell XYZ stock. Now, if you're... I'm running out of room here. I should have wrote smaller. Okay, where long 
15 calls, 50 cents. And now we're selling stock at 20. Okay, if we're long, 10 times 500 risk, right? If we sell stock at 20, and let's say we sell 1,000 shares, what's our risk now? What's our risk? What's the most amount of money that we could lose? Because our position is long 10 calls, 15 strike, and then we're short 1,000 shares at 20. What's our risk? Do we have risk? Yeah, we're flat. You have no risk. You're flat. Because all you're doing at expiration, at expiration, you're long a thousand shares and you're short a thousand shares and you made five dollars. Okay. This is it. 10 days to exp expiration. What's the most that we can make on this trade? And I'm sending a virtual sticker to anybody who gets this one right. What's the most that we can make on this trade? So far, everybody's wrong. Curtis. Kirk, nice. So watch. The reason we want to do this is because we want optionality. And this is kind of like an exaggerated example but learn from it because all of a sudden xyz is a fraud happens right certainly happens xyz is a fraud xyz trade zero you're long 10 calls you lose your premium. You lost $500. Your short stock, you make 20,000. So the difference, the first person might have covered their trade, they might have locked in profit. You guys all get, it's a virtual sticker. It's a virtual sticker. This is keeping your optionality. Now, most often the stock is not going to go to zero, but could that stock trade back to 15? Absolutely. Heck yes, they can. So then you want to be able to buy back those shares and you still hold your optionality, you still hold those calls. And this is something that we had a long talk in our members discord um, over the weekend. There was probably like 30 or 40 different comments with, with people just not fully grasping it. This is one of those lessons that you need to fully grasp. Yeah, keep your optionality. I tell the members all the time. And always when we share our trades on Sunday and we talk about buying options, I like to buy options and I want to buy options because it's a fixed amount of risk, right? 
I don't want tail risk. I don't want to stay up all night worrying what's going to happen if, God forbid, something goes to zero or something goes to 200. I want to wake up and be you know, pleasantly surprised if that happens. And once in a while, it will. But you need to keep holding your options until expiration, even if they go against you. Because if you buy your 15 calls, 50 cents, 500 of risk, you have the ability to make that decision before you get into the trade. You decide what you're comfortable risking before you get into the trade, and then you should use every tool at your disposal in order to potentially make a whole bunch of money on one trade. And this is something that I continue to see people just not understanding and not educated about. And that's why it's so important to understand what we mean when we talk about managing your deltas. So overall, that's my message on this right here.